Characterization is what brings characters to life. It allows the authors to help the audience understand the characters and how each character's personality and perspectives can help drive the plot forward. This may not seem ordinary to you right now, but after a time it will. This will become ordinary. Atwood's characterization of women, specifically the handmaids, is influenced by her concerns regarding the rise of the conservative government and the threat of the reversal of women's rights. All the women under the Republic of Gilead are divided into six groups. Handmaids, wives, martyrs, aunts, Econo wives, and unwomen. Atwood deliberately inhibits their individuality through each group's different coloured uniforms and creates a division between women to highlight the possible consequences of theoconservatism. Whose fault was it, girls? The story is told through the eyes of the handmaid offered. A chair, a table, a lamp. There's a window with white curtains. Handmaids have the duty to bear children for older, rich, and powerful couples who cannot reproduce on their own due to the infertility of the wives. Of all the social classes of women in Gilead, they are perhaps the most important but also the most depressed. Handmaids are manipulated into ignoring their past and are given new names each time they are assigned to a new commander. My name is Alfred. I had another name, but it's forbidden now. So many things are forbidden now. All of this is a result of the totalitarian, patriarchal government that rules this society and views women as property, particularly fertile women, which are handmaids, as vessels for childbirth. Handmaids are required to wear red, which is the color of blood and is a representation of their fertility. Their dresses conceal their figures and they have specific pieces for when they go outside if it is cold or raining. Atwood's use of red as symbolism is ironic because historically, red often symbolized power, worn by leaders. However, the handmaids are portrayed as weak. They cannot choose their own clothing and their only power is their presumed ability to bear children. The only non-red clothing in a handmaid's closet is a pair of white wings. They wear it on their heads to frame and conceal their faces, which is again ironic because wings often symbolize freedom. However, it blocks their peripheral vision or view of the world and forces them to only look straight ahead. Additionally, its purpose to prevent handmaids from seeing but also from being seen emphasizes the manipulation of the oppressive totalitarian government. Ultimately, the characterization of handmaids and the representation of women in the novel enables Atwood to reflect on her context and portray her concerns regarding the issues prevalent in her time.